Okay, so Julius, HK, what have we got? Okay, we got us as a German manufactured brand of uh, live PA system. Uh, very scaled, very modular, very transportable. There's your mid-high unit, loaded with four three and a half inch drivers. One, two, three, four. The audio goes in via the spigot, if, if you could call it a spigot. You can. You can call it anything um, you like, but a spigot which, is a good name. Which then mates up with this guy, and this is an AA six hundred power amp. It's it's not a speaker. It's, it's the same it looks form like a factor. speaker, but it's not. And the yeah, idea and is then, uh, we just do this connect it all together. Oof, there we go. Click click. Um, and so what happens is you feed your audio in to the amplifier module, and this can either run up to four of these or two of the subs. There's a passive sub which we'll get to in a minute, or two mid highs and a sub. Um, and you tell it how many mid-high elements you're running with a little rotary dial on the side. Um, there's a plus four minus ten sensitivity switch. Um, and ours came supplied with locking IEC connectors, which is quite cool. I like that. I like that the IEC is not going to fall out. You told me that, uh, that that was common and that I was... Yes. Here you've got an array of uh, four top boxes sitting on the amp at the bottom, okay? Um, in that configuration, the amp's delivering 600 watts up this column. You could run three, you could run two, you could run one ooh, if ooh. you... If you want to just run one, you just stick that in between the amp and the top box. Can you stick that on the sub? Yeah, yeah, there's a... There's a um, a with, top hat in the top of the sub. You've got to flip it up flip on its side, though. Up. Okay, now, with the subs, each sub's loaded with one 10-inch woofer, okay? Um, but there's two flavours of sub. There's sub with amp, and there's dumb sub with no amp, okay? Um, dumb sub is passive, meaning that uh, you run an amp signal in either from this guy or from the other sub, and dumb sub goes sub, sub, sub. Okay, so it's got a passive crossover network in it. Um, the system you're seeing here, you've got two powered and two not powered subs here. And you've got the one amp module down the bottom running the column. So you've got 600 watts there, and you've got two lots of 600 watts in the sub stack. So it's 1,200 watts of sub. That's a full system. It's, it's, it's a decent system. I mean, it took us a little, <laughs> little bit of reading to figure out how to how to piece it all together, but what are your thoughts on how it sounds? Okay, sound-wise, we've auditioned it using our standard variety of, of audio tracks. My audio tracks um, are terrific. James' audio tracks, I don't know who the artists are. Um, there's lots of unintelligible, weird stuff going on. There was some dubstep. Between the two of us, we've listened to quite a number of tracks, maybe eight tracks, on this thing. We've also plugged in a industry reference microphone, I was known as an SM58 and spoken to the thing. Um, what we're getting here is um, good dispersion, 70 degrees in the, in the horizontal, uh, and the vertical's tightly controlled by the fact that it is like a column array. Yeah, the vertical, the vertical, and the control, the pattern control is quite good in the vertical in the sense that basically where the top of the array ends, so does the sound. Mm. Um, and in terms of actual projection, uh, one of the big points that HK make on their website is that you get consistent level across your audience. And from what we've done uh, from our testing, that certainly the theory seems to hold quite well. Uh, sort of whether you're right in front of the thing or whether you're five meters back, whatever, um, the projection seems quite nice. And I really like, I really like how voice sounds on this PA. Yeah, I would suggest that um, this is a system for the more vocal kind of act. And I would suggest that it's a music system it's a PA system for music. Um, the the ten inch sub is really doing it hard when it hits its limit. I mean, inevitably, a ten inch sub is going to do hard yards, and we have run this to its limit, and we've run it past its limit. We've also run it to its limit with just the top boxes to hear what happens. It doesn't get pretty when it gets pushed too hard, but it's saving itself at the same time. Having said that, the SPL is quite acceptable in this configuration. I think I think the top boxes have got the subs a bit outgunned. Possibly. I, I think the, the top boxes really push it out there. Yeah, I think the thing with this is 
um, you know, the scalability, the, the portability, um, and the ability, I guess, to perhaps um, build it up as, as your audience is built. So, you know, start off with two subs and two top elements with an amp per side. So start off with half of this. Uh, and if you're a musical act, you'll quite happily work 300 people with half of this, I would think. You won't get pile driving bottom end out of the subs, but you'll get a balanced audio. It's lightweight, it's easy to set up. Less cables, because all the connectors are in the stack. Um, you only need a speak on cable to go from amplified sub to dumb sub. That's the only time you need speaker cables. That's yeah. a plus. Yeah, it is a so plus. So it's almost musician proof in that sense. Yeah, I, look, if that's I, possible. I, I, I'm with you on this. It's, you know, it's, it's not for the Metallica tour, but this is gonna, this is gonna fill a hole for a lot of users who want something that's portable, something that's easy to deploy. You can carry this easily. None of it's really heavy. You remember the days of carrying backbreaking, well, look, uh, the other 67 thing is, kilos. Even, None of this weighs a lot. Even you plastic, can put this in a hatch. You can fit this see, in my car. I'm talking. Plastic speaker box on stands. If, if I go to a business event. I don't want to see a plastic speaker on a stand because it looks messy, okay? That, on its own, is fantastic for a corporate event. As much kinder on sight lines. Much kinder on sight lines. If you wanted some subs, you could hide these away. They don't have to be sitting anywhere near here. They can be somewhere. You can sit them under the stage. Yeah, so I would, I'd venture to suggest that, like, for corporate audiovisual, that's a good look. And yeah? Am I right or am I Yeah, right? yeah, absolutely. And especially good is the fact that you don't actually need to fly it. That's a good point. You think about uh, a lot of applications like hotels and ballrooms, things like that. Flying line arrays and stuff can be uh, challenging. Well, nonetheless, time consuming. This is this is quick deploy. A speaker easy. On, on a stand, a K and M stand, a good stand. Don't buy the cheap stands. A speaker on a good stand. Uh, a, it looks messy, and B, there's the OH and S issue of getting the thing up there, and then getting it off at the end. And uh, there you go. Okay, well, I think this is one of the sort of emerging bespoke, tailor-made audio solutions. It's from HK. It's called Elements. I think it's going to keep a lot of people happy. See how we go.